In this video, I'm going to discuss about mean and variance of probability distribution. In practical approach, statistics is related to the analysis of the frequency of past events. The result is a frequency distribution. From the frequency distribution, we can find the mean and variance of the data by using the suitable formulas. In theoretical approach, Probability is related to forecasting the possibility of upcoming events where the events are not yet happened. The result is a probability distribution. From the probability distribution, we can find the mean value. This mean value is the value that we expect to happen in long term. So we call it as expected mean or expected value or expectation of x. The notation of the expected mean is ex. This expected value is the population mean of the distribution which is denoted as mu. From the probability distribution, we can also find the variance of x, where it is denoted as VAR. VAR stands for variance. This is the population variance of the distribution. The expected mean of the discrete probability distribution is defined as the sum of the product of each possible value of a random variable and the probability of the value. The expected mean of the continuous probability distribution is defined as the integration of the product of the random variable and the probability density function in the interval where the function is defined. The formula of the variance of the discrete and continuous probability distribution is the same, which is the variance of x is equal to e of x squared minus e of x power 2. But if x is a discrete random variable, we use the sum to find the ex. And if x is a continuous random variable, we use integration to find the e of x. Now we proceed to the properties of mean and variance of probability distribution. We start from the expectation mean. The expectation of a constant A is equal to A. The expectation of a constant A times X is equal to A times E of X. The expectation of AX plus B, we can separate it into E of AX plus E of B. E of AX is equal to A times E of X, whereas E of B is equal to B. So therefore, E of AX plus B is equal to A times E of X plus B. Similarly, E of AX minus B is equal to A times E of X minus B. E of B plus AX is equal to B plus A times E of X, and E of B minus AX is equal to B minus A times E of X. For variance, the variance of a constant A is equal to 0. 
variance of ax we can take out the constant a becomes a power 2 so variance of ax is equal to a power 2 times variance x variance of ax plus b actually we can separate into variance of ax plus variance of b variance of ax is equal to a power 2 times variance x, whereas variance for constant b is 0. So therefore, variance of ax plus b is equal to a power 2 times variance x. Similarly, variance of ax minus b is equal to a power 2 variance x. Variance of b plus a times x is equal to a power 2 times variance x. For variance b minus ax, when we separate this, we can get variance b plus variance minus ax. Variance b is equal to 0. Then as for variance negative ax, when we take out the constant negative a, it is equal to negative a power 2. Negative a power 2, it is equal to positive a power 2. So therefore, variance b minus ax is equal to a power 2 times variance x. So generally, the values of variance is a positive value. Let's try this example. A discrete random variable x has the following probability distribution. Find the expected value of x and variance of x. The expected value of x means e of x. Since x is a discrete random variable, therefore e of x is equal to the sum of the product of x and the probability of the value of x. From this probability distribution, when x is equal to 0, the probability is 0 0.3. So therefore, 0 times 0 0.3. When x is 1, the probability is 0 0.15. So 1 times 0 0.15. When x is 2, probability is 0 0.1. When x is 3, probability is 0 0.15. And when x is 4, probability is 0 0.3. So when we sum up, the value is equal to 2. So therefore, the expected value of x is equal to 2. To find the variance, variance of x is equal to e of x squared minus e of x power 2. So means before we can find the variance of x, we need to find e of x squared. So e of x squared is equal to sum of the product of x squared times the probability of x. So from the table, when x is 0, so 0 power 2 times the probability 0 0.3. When x is 1, 1 power 2, probability 0 0.15. When x is 2, 2 power 2 times the probability 0 0.1. When x is 3, 3 power 2 times the probability 0 0.15. And when x is 4, 4 power 2 times the probability 0 0.3. So when we calculate, it is equal to 6.7. So therefore, the variance of x is 6.7 minus e of x, which is 2 power 2. The answer is 2.7. So therefore, the variance of x is 2.7. Next example, x is a discrete random variable with probability distribution given below here. Find the answer of each of the question below. So first, find the value of k. Since x is a discrete random variable, and we know that for discrete random variable, the sum of the probability for all the possible values of x is equal to 1. So from the distribution, the possible values are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So when x is equal to 2, the probability is k. When x is 4, 
the probability is also k when x is 1 when we substitute the x with 1 the probability is 2k when x is 3 when we substitute x with 3 so the probability is 6k when x is 5 when we substitute x with 5 the probability is 10k and the sum is equal to 1 so when we calculate then we find that x is equal to 0 0.05 after we have got the value of k now we are going to substitute the value of k into the probability distribution function so after substitute this is the probability distribution function so now I'm going to find the value of e of x. Since x is a discrete random variable, e of x is equal to sum of x times the probability. So when x is equal to 2, the probability is 0 0.05, so 2 times 0 0.05. When x is 4, the probability is 0 0.05, so 4 times 0 0.05. When x is 1, the probability is 0 0.10 when we substitute x with 1. So 1 times 0 0.10. When x is 3, the probability is 0 0.1 times 3, it is 0 0.3. When x is 5, so 5 times 0 0.5. So when we calculate, e of x is 3.8. Next, we are going to find the variance. From the equation, we know that if we want to find the variance, we must have the value of e of x squared. So to calculate the e of x squared, it is sum of x squared times the probability. So when x is 2, 2 power 2 times the probability 0 0.05. When x is 4, 4 power 2 times the probability 0 0.05. When x is 1, 1 power 2 times the probability 0 0.1 when x is 3 3 power 2 times the probability 0 0.3 when x is 5 5 power 2 times 0 0.5 so when we calculate e of x squared is 16.3 after we have got the value of e of x squared now we can calculate variance of x Variance of x is e of x squared, it is 16.3 minus e of x squared, which is 3.8 power 2. So when calculate, it is 1.86. Next, find the value of e of 3x minus 2. 3x minus 2 can be separate into e of 3x minus e of 2. So e of 3x is equal to 3 times e of x. And we know that the value of e of x is 3.8. And e of a constant 2 is equal to 2. So when calculate, it is equal to 9.4. Next, we are going to find the variance of 3x minus 2. Variance 3x minus 2 is equal to 3 power 2 variance x. And the variance x is equal to 1.86. So when we calculate, it is equal to 16.74. Next, we are going to find the value of e of p, where p is equal to 3x minus 2 divided by x. When we substitute p with 3x minus 2 over x, and this fraction can be separate, becomes 3 minus 2 divided by x. And this e of 3 minus 2 over x can be further simplified, becomes 3 minus 2 times e of 1 over x. Now I'm going to find the value of e of 1 over x. To find the e of 1 over x, we need to use the formula sum of 1 over x times the probability. So when x is equal to 2, 1 over x is 1 over 2 times the probability 0 0.05. When x is 4, 1 over 4 times the probability 0 0.05. 
when x is 1, 1 over 1 times the probability 0 0.1, when x is 3, 1 over 3 times the probability 0 0.3, and when x is 5, 1 over 5 times the probability 0 0.5. So when we calculate, e of 1 over x is 0 0.3375. So therefore, now we can calculate the value of E of P, which is equal to 3 minus 2 times 0 0.3375. It is equal to 2.325. Next example, X is a continuous random variable with probability density function given below here. Find the answer for each of the questions below. So first, to find the value of E of X, since X is a continuous random variable, E of X is equal to the integration of the product of X and the density function F of X. In the interval where the function is valid, that is from 0 to 4, the function f of x is x plus 3 over 20. Before we carry out the integration, first we take out the constant 1 over 20 and we multiply x with x plus 3. Then we get x power 2 plus 3x. So when we carry out integration, we get x power 3 over 3 plus 3x power 2 over 2. And when we substitute the upper limit and the lower limit, the upper limit is 4 minus the lower limit 0. Then when we calculate, it is equal to 34 over 15. Next, we are going to find the variance of x. But we know that before we can find the variance of x, we need the value of e of x power 2. So since x is a continuous random variable, e of x power 2 is equal to integration of x power 2 times fx. In the interval from 0 to 4, x power 2 times function f of x is x plus 3 over 20. First, we take out the constant 1 over 20 and multiply x power 2 with x plus 3. Then we get x power 3 plus 3 x power 2. So when we carry out integration, we will get this. And then we are going to substitute the upper limit 4 and minus the lower limit 0. And when we calculate, e of x power 2 is 32 over 5. Now we can find the variance of x. e of x power 2 is 32 over 5 minus e of x power 2. e of x is 34 over 15. So when we calculate, variance x is 1.262. Next, we are going to find the value of e of 3 minus 2x. 3 minus 2x can be separate becomes e of 3 minus 2 times e of x. e of a constant 3 is equal to 3 and e of x is 34 over 15. So when we calculate, it is equal to negative 23 over 15. Next, we are going to find the variance of 3 minus 2x. We know that variance 3 minus 2x is equal to 2 power 2, which is 4 variance x. The value of variance x is 1.262. So when we multiply with 4, it is 